Good morning, good afternoon, good evening everybody on planet Earth. Hello. You'll have to really speak up because it's quite windy today. What? What happened today? Uh, we lost a cushion. Um, a big long thin cushion blew off the boat and uh, nobody said to me, that, hey the cushion's blown away. And uh, we just turned around and it was missing and we thought, I'm looking around and can't find it anywhere so we've come downwind to the beach to see if we can find it. Yeah, poor Tim is absolutely heartbroken. First his binoculars got broken and now his cushion's gone and I know it doesn't sound much but they're quite specific cushions. They're a special shape for the dolphin boat. And him and Graham went back out in the dolphin boat searching the bay for it customer was sitting on it but then the customer stood up and then apparently there was nothing holding it down anyway <coughs> here in the bay of Gibraltar or the Bahia de Algeciras depending on if you're Spanish or British this is an ancient Phoenician fort and I would urge you all to look it up on Google Earth it's amazing over there, where the sun is setting, as where most of the Phoenicians were. They were very well known for sailing and trade. They also settled on the Rock of Gibraltar. And what a lot of people don't know about this bay is that it is full of gold. Nobody's ever mined it. Well, not since the Phoenicians, anyway because they were a bit busy having a civil war. Let's sit down here, Graham. That's a bit better. It's not quite so windy. Go for the wind, so yeah, right? this, this whole town is really from war, isn't it? The, 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 the fight over Gibraltar. The Moors landed here in 711 on this very beach. <coughs> for uh, me, for and, uh, were before that. And conquered conquered um, the Christian world and they wanted to bring Islam to the infidels. Well that was their plan anyway and they were here for about 600 years. Yeah, I think the Phoenicians were before the Moors, weren't they? Um, yes, I, I, I I'm not certain about that I don't but I'm know. quite confident. <laughs> I don't know, yes, perhaps they were. Anyway, so yeah, no one was really interested in archaeology in this area until very recently. Um, and somebody pointed out that there might be Phoenician ruins and there is they they did they have a dig down the road don't they yes. it's called Carter Hay or something like that. Yeah. and uh, there has been a lot of gold found but no one's been looking for gold because they've been under the rule of Franco and they've had various other things keeping them busy so if you fancy a bit of treasure hunting this is a great place to come and look for it, but I think metal detectors are illegal. It depends where you where you look. And we'll sell you some Levi's and a, and a pan. You may laugh, Graham. It's absolutely full of gold here. It's full of all kinds of minerals. So Spain is generally. There's not many rich people around here, though. No, but that's because they're all worrying about, I don't know, having the latest iPhone and getting to work in jib and... They're not really looking at where they live or their surroundings. If you find me some gold, I'll be convinced. Is that? Well, how about they already found the gold in Cartagena and it's on display in the museum and you go and have a look at that gold. Really? Pearls before swine. Right, let's see if the crossing will work this time. This crossing's pretty good. It normally takes about four seconds. That gold's just pressed it, Oh, I see. Mind you don't get run over by a bicycle. Oh, here we go, green man. Excellent. So yes, we're very interested in treasure hunting in our family. We've got several secret projects on the go in the background. One is deciphering a map and another is a bit of exploration around here. So if you are into archaeology or hunting for minerals, this is the town to be. Have any of you ever found any gold, treasure, 